I decided almost two and a half years ago to start doing a YouTube channel. I originally had done some other videos online and I decided to find out and discover about whiskey. I couldn't invite someone into my home a couple times a week to taste and try whiskeys and learn about it, so I decided to use this method instead of actually talking to a camera, tasting the whiskeys, describing what I'm actually um, discovering, and my entire journey is documented of becoming the whiskey Jason, the whiskey um, person from Germany who's trying to understand what whiskey really means all around the world. We're now in Ireland and we are at the Walsh Distillery. We just did a wonderful tour together with our tour guide um, Woody. He showed us around all the different distilling stages and explained the history of this unique and very interesting place. That's one of the things I like the most about this is actually meeting new people, even if it's just a live stream, it's, if it's just a virtual um, time that we spend together and yet I learned so much and I've met so many great people and I think that's what actually binds that whiskey community together. People with very, very religious, very, very political, very, very different views of life come together and enjoy the one thing they all like together and that's whiskey. Well, I'm not really sure it has much to do with lifestyle philosophy, which whiskey you like the most. I compare it a lot to music. Some people like country music, other people like more um, rock. Other people like the pop, other people like more classic. It doesn't say a lot about your personality or maybe you just like a certain thing at certain times. Now, a good whiskey is a whiskey that you personally prefer. In Europe, it has to be three years old and one day in order to be called whiskey. It should be from a nice, good cask, which is a barrel usually made from white American oak. And it sh doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to cost 100 plus euros to be a good whiskey. There's very, very, very good whiskey out there for an affordable price. Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of American and Germany. Today in Ireland together with Woody Kane from Watch Whiskey Distillery. My tip is always just to try, try, try. And the good thing that we have, at least in the German world, is we have samples. You can actually go to different forums online, if it's Facebook or other places, you can buy little samples, you can try them before you have a whole bottle at home you don't like. That's a, that's a shame. Now, I've had many different whiskies here from the Walsh Distillery. I've had the Writer's Tears, the Irishman, the one I have not yet had, and this is just brand new, this is the Caribbean Cask Finished Founders Reserve from the Irishman. Unfortunately, I was too late with the um, Malaza Cask Finish, which they have also done. So this is for me the first time I've ever had this in the glass. I get a nice, nice rum moment, which I like. It still has that nice smoothness of a triple distill Irish whiskey. Oh, after look, we're at 46%, which is a very, very nice um, ABV alcohol by volume. Great color, by the way, as well. A healthy pour. Mmm. <laughs> There's much more barrel char than I expected. That's a little bit of a hint of smoke. It's not the peat. The rum is not as um, dominant as I thought it would be. I had the Tula Madu um, Caribbean cast yesterday. That's the sister distillery basically up there. And that was much, much more rum and this is more integrated. Much smoother and much better as a, as a total product. I actually like this much better. Very, very nice. Well done, gentlemen, here. Mm -hmm. 